Hey there folks, Lane here with Techno Maverick, and today I'm excited to be showing you how to create custom live tiles for Win32 applications. So you can see I have a few set up here already. Now this will not work for Windows Store applications, and I wanna point out a couple of flaws with the system here. So for one, these are not actually links to the application. What this is going to do is launch a proxy, which will then launch the app that you click on. So I'll show, basically demonstrate this for you here. If I go ahead and choose to open Chrome, it opens the Tile Creator app, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. And then the Tile Creator app uses that proxy to go ahead and launch the application that I asked for, which in this case was Google Chrome. So since that's the case, certain functions like the jump list do not work on the tile here. So I just want to point out that flaw. Now, this may seem like a big deal to some of you if you very frequently use those jump lists or if you find that um, proxy launching there to be ugly. Uh, you know, it is a problem, but to me, it's worth it to have a nice looking start menu or start screen. So uh, back to the application here again, we're going to need to download and use the Tile Creator app from the Windows Store and the Tile Creator proxy. I will leave links to both in the description below. So once you have these two applications installed, the next thing you want is to know what application you actually want to create a custom tile for. So if you wanted, for instance, to create a custom tile for the Outlook 2016 application, go ahead and search for it in your start menu or in Cortana, and then right click on the appropriate search result. From there, you wanna to go to open file location. Now in this case, it's actually just showing me a shortcut, so we'll go ahead and repeat that and see the actual location of it here. And we want to find out exactly where it's located. So in this case, it's in the C program files, x86, Microsoft Office, root office 16 folder. So that's where we can find that. So we'll take note of that, set this aside here, and then we want to use the tile creator proxy application. So in order to create that shortcut, we need to basically copy and paste this string of text into this field here. So I've already done that for demonstration purposes here. And it's automatically going to create a name. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and change that. This is case sensitive, so you will wanna go ahead and copy that. So we'll copy that. And now we're gonna go over to the Tile Creator app. So that name that we just copied goes in this second field here, Tile Creator Proxy Link Name. So we'll paste that. These two need to be exactly identical or this will not work. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and choose the images that you're going to be using for these various tiles. And notice here you can choose a different image for each different tile size that is available. Now after you've completed that, you'll click this button to pin the tile. Now, if this doesn't work, if for some reason you're sure you've typed this name in correctly and you're sure you have this folder correct, what you may want to do is restart the Tile Creator proxy and then try this again. I have found myself needing to do that very frequently. Now, after you have created this or added this shortcut or this um, path here, you can hit this test button to make sure that it works. So sometimes it'll work here, but it won't work here for some reason. So in that case, again, you may just need to restart the Tile Creator proxy and then try again. So from there, it's just gonna go ahead and pin that to your start screen and you will be all set. Now, if you wanna use these that I have created, uh, these are the only ones I've created so far, um, but if you do want to use them, you can see there are some nice looking uh, tiles that I've created here. You can actually download those from download those from my website at technomaverick.com. And again, I'll leave links to that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about Windows 10, definitely check out either of the annotations that you see on the screen now. The top one will take you to a playlist about different tips and tricks, and the bottom one will teach you about different apps and games. If you can't click on these annotations, you can find the links in the description below. Additionally, if you'd like more information or more videos like this one that you've just watched, you can subscribe to this channel for more.